expecting back from your members? Very representative, of course. Um, but another thing that really struck me listening to both um, our patients here today is how kind of gracious and generous they still are about um, the services that are on offer and the conversations they are having. And just now with Deloney, how almost we need to prompt her to actually describe to us the things that are not simply not working. So I think it's really important that in hearing signals from patients, we almost amplify them consciously because people are moderating down so much of the distress they're actually sharing. Um, and they are giving the NHS the benefit of the doubt now more than ever, uh, and completely understanding of the pressures the NHS is under. But just to pick up the cancer story uh, we've just heard, um, our members, Cancer Research UK and Macmillan, both briefed, uh, briefed me before this session, and the numbers are staggering. So uh, 2.1 million people are now waiting for screening and tests and um, treatments just in cancer. Um, most of those are people waiting for screening, which might sound sort of less urgent, but um, if 290,000 uh, people are missing out on testing, which seems to be the case, then 20,000 cancers would have been missed by now. Um, uh, but it's not just waiting for tests and screening. We have 12,000 fewer patients uh, receiving surgery, 66,000 fewer receiving chemotherapy, and 2,800 um, fewer patients receiving radiotherapy. So these are really quite staggering numbers, and it's just cancer I've just mentioned. Um, but just Heart Foundation reached out and mentioned um, they'd done a survey, half their respondents said that they uh, found it harder to access services and of those roughly half again had procedures cancelled. We've heard from um, our members Action Against Medical Accidents that they're picking up many more distress signals on their helpline. Avoidable harm is now very clearly happening um, and it's also the kind of less sexy areas of medicine that we hear less about. You know, we've heard from endometriosis patients who've been waiting an awfully long time by the point that finally get a referral to be treated. And if that then is cancelled, it can really tip people over into deep, deep despair. Neurology patients uh, aren't all able to wait forever. What we in this country call urgent care, which needs to be seen in A&E, and it kind of excludes an awful lot of care that isn't emergency but still actually really quite urgent and so i think what we've heard today is really very representative thank you 